Hello, Pietro. Hello, hi. Uh, so, you work for uh, Wilbert. Can you please shortly tell yeah, something sure. about the company and yourself? Sure, uh, thanks for having us. Uh, so, my name is Piotr Krzemiński. I'm the co-founder and COO of uh, the company called Euroloop. Uh, but we offer our uh, solutions under the brand name called Wilbert. Okay. Coming from William Gilbert, who is actually an inventor, the inventor of the electricity term. Uh, and for the first time, as he saw uh, electricity, he said it looks like amber. So two of our products are called Wilbert Amber. This is our first product, Wilbert Amber One. It's a scalable standalone DC charger uh, with the highest efficiency on the market of 97%. Uh, scalable from 25 up to 150 kilowatts uh, of power. Uh, it's also the most flexible um, solution available in the market uh, due to the usage of silicon carbide transistors. We were the company that introduced as a first one worldwide uh, silicon carbide transistors. Uh, what we do, we, uh, we design, create and manufacture standalone DC chargers together with uh, our backend solution, so IT environment to serve charging basically. So we are a vertically integrated company. Uh, as I said, this is our first product, uh, scalable up to 150. But I think the second product would be much more interesting for you. It's Wilbert Amber 2. Uh, I will explain more here. So, uh, Wilbert Amber 2. This is also a scalable standalone DC charger. By standalone, I mean that no uh, external uh, infrastructure is needed just this cabinet uh, and everything is inside. So it's a DC standalone charger, scalable from technically 50 kilowatts up to 300 kilowatts per device, but it can be linked through a DC link, through an underground DC link with another similar device so that the whole system can exchange power modules between two devices and uh, provide up to 600 kilowatts for every uh, for each of eight plugs available in the whole system. Uh, this makes this uh, solution the most powerful standalone solution available in the market and the most flexible as 50 kilowatt power modules can be reassigned to any of eight charging plugs in one system. Uh, using smart power allocation. So the system reassigns, even during the charging session, the power modules to the cars that need the power the most. So it's most adjustable and most flexible system around. Uh, also, uh, the efficiency of 97% is provided uh, here. Mm, and what's worth noticing, it's not just a peak efficiency, it's a constant efficiency from 25% of the power output on, which means that for more than 95% of the charging session, the efficiency uh, of 97% plus is sustained. So what, it, quick... what it means? It means yeah. that for a CPO charging point operator, so the company which is our client and who cares the, the most about the, uh, the savings of electricity. Uh, the, with, with this efficiency, electricity um, loss is, um, is cut by half. So the savings coming out of increased efficiency can offset around 50% of uh, the capex within the 10 years product lifespan, let's say. Uh, I recommend you to visit our website, www.wilbert.tech. There is efficiency savings calculator uh, available there. Uh, so as a CPO or any per person interested, you can calculate the savings coming from increased efficiency. Uh, you can set the electricity price, you can set your, um, your utility rate, your charger network and uh, compare 97% to any other percent that you would like to, to compare it to. And, uh, and there you can calculate the savings in energy and of course with money. Uh, on top of our two hardware products, uh, we offer our uh, internally developed backend solution uh, capable of settling and uh, settling payments and invoicing them for end customers. All right, so once 
once charging session is uh, established, um, an EV driver has a couple of ways to uh, get an invoice or a receipt uh, for that. Uh, by choosing invoice at our uh, user interface, uh, he can choose one of three options. He can just scan the QR code and fill out the invoice data on his mobile phone. Uh, he can do it here and put all of the data uh, here in the system and we gather it throughout a uh, hockey uh, platform or he can just fill out the mail and receive the form uh, to his uh, mailbox um, and fill it out uh, using a, a PC or a, or a mobile phone. Uh, and once it's not visible here as it's a demo version, but once the charging session is finished uh, manually, the driver can uh, get uh, the money which left from the budget uh, back just by it depends on the market I don't know about the Finnish market uh, but you, usually the the reimbursement happens automatically or you have to swap the card once again okay a question when you enter the information into the system once mm -hmm. does it recognize and remember yes. your car yes so next time it, it just remembers sends everything it automatically. remembers your card it doesn't remember the car it remembers the card okay but we don't uh, gather the cart data, of course. Yeah. But the cart has its own, uh, let's say, number which we identify. So once you do it once, uh, you're you're free to uh, have your data filled in uh, for the next charging session throughout the, the same charging network. Basically. Okay. Great. We deeply monitor the, the, what's happening inside of the charger from technical perspective. So we measure everything um, by and send it through our internal protocol, which is way deeper than, for example, OCPP 1.6. Uh, and the system is also cap capable of uh, performing some business analysis uh, and is also available for, uh, for uh, charging point operators as uh, our customers. So here I can present uh, Mm, uh, user experience flow by charging with credit card payments. So first you have to choose the plug, let's say plug A. Uh, the pricing is visible on the upper side uh, and lower you can set the budget for your charging session. Right here it's let's say 28 euros, so 25 euros uh, is reserved for uh, kilowatt hours that with this price, it's it's 50 kilowatt hours. Setting a plus plus parking budget. So if the CPO wants to charge people for occupying a parking spot, it can be adjustable also throughout the platform. But it's available here. So after setting all of this, we just proceed to payment and pay by card, and then connect the car. Once the car is connected, the charger performs some test, and then. Once the charging session starts, here you can see the spare power modules. As you can see, two are assigned to the plug to plug A uh, and 200 kilowatts spare. Choosing plug B, the same procedure. Connecting, requesting, checking, allocating, locking, testing, pre-charging, and now charging session started uh, once again. So one module is reassigned to, to plug B. Uh, uh, three modules are currently reassigned to plug A, 50 kilowatts spare. Uh, so right now it uses 250 kilowatts uh, for two plugs. And the system can reassign in total uh, 12 power modules to in total eight plugs in uh, real life. So smart power allocation just reassigns the modules from two devices, uh, to eight cars in total uh, by bringing what's the most needed uh, at the moment. Okay, that's, that's our idea of the most powerful and also the most flexible charger, uh, chargers around uh, worldwide. Thank you, Pietro. Thank you very much.